welcome to Tank Radio, and today I'm going to show you how to update your address using the ULS system on Tank Radio, so play that awesome intro video! The first bit of information you're going to need for an address update or to request a vanity call sign is your FRN number. This number is issued to you when you first got your license, and if you don't remember what it is or don't have it written down, I'm going to show you how to look it up. First, we're going to Google FCC database, first link, then we're going to search for your call sign. KG5AHJ, woot, here we go. Here is my call sign, my full name, and my FRN number. Copy that. If you do copy it out of this window, sometimes there is going to be an extra space. Just put it in a notepad, make sure there's no space, and you'll be good. As soon as we got that number, we're going to click on the ULS and click on online filing. And go ahead and log into your account. If you don't remember your password, it is very simple to reset it. Go ahead and click on this text support and forgot your password. Very easy to do. I did it before this video. It just asks you for your security question. It allows you to submit that via the form. There is no um, email verification you have to wait for. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Thought I remembered it. And here we're going to do update license to update your address. Select your license and then go to continue. And I'm not exempt for any of the fees. And then here we're gonna enter the information what we're gonna update. And I'm gonna update it to my new PO box I got. Interesting, if it's a PO box, they just want the number. And then we're going to go ahead and click continue. Verify everything's correct and continue again. And then fill out your name to agree to this statement above. And submit. It's been about four days since I submitted the application, uh, roughly three business days to what I got an email from the FCC I'm showing on screen right here saying that the application hasn't been granted. After I received that, I went ahead and checked QRZ's page and my address was still showing the old address. I did some searching and I found that the QRZ page pulls the FCC database about once a day. So you got to wait a following day for the QRZ address to pop up. But now I have a PO box instead of my address. And now you can send QR so cards and other things. We'll get to that later, but it's no longer blurred. So I have updated that and now I'm anonymous ish. That's it. That's all you have to do to get your P.O. box or to update your address if you move. This is a very important video to do if you move because you got to change that within 30 days. And we all know what happens if you don't update that and the FCC mails you and you don't respond. Permanent suspensions of your license. And we don't want that. We all want to stay on the air. We all want to have fun. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.